Good morning, gladiators. We who are about to play salute you. Yes, we do. We salute you, the fans. Do you guys like adventure? I like adventure. I like adventure games. I like the old school classic adventure games. Games like Zork and King's Quest. King's Quest. You remember that? Probably you don't. This is a game from many years ago, the game we're playing today. This is King's Quest 3 from Sierra. It is a game that holds a very special place in my heart because it was one of the first adventure games I ever played on my PC. I would have been about eight at the time. The game came out in 1986. That's how old it is. This game is 32 years old. Wow. But it's a classic. Uh, if you like wizards and stories of adventure and uh, spells and deserts and fairy tales, this game's for you. It's a tough game, uh, a frustrating game of um, complicated puzzles and um, lateral thinking and that kind of thing. But I remember playing this many, many times as a kid and um, and just seeing what secrets I could unlock. So if you're unfamiliar with the King's Quest series, this is a great place to start. Uh, there were six or seven games in the, oh, eight. Well, we never mentioned the eighth one. It was not like the others in the King's Quest series, but uh, the first four are the most beloved ones. And um, I would have started with the first one, but King's Quest three is in fact my favorite in the series and the game we'll be playing today. And I've got a special treat for you today because there is the original game, which we'll be playing, and we'll be playing the remake um, afterwards because uh, it's a lot more playable and a lot uh, easier on the eyes for the um, modern connoisseur of gaming. So, without further ado, let's get into King's Quest 3. Here we are, King's Quest 3. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> the evil wizard Mananen appears. My office is dusty. Clean it at once. So... Um, what we didn't see here is the title screen, which um, came and went as we loaded the game up. I'm actually playing the game right now on um, a program, uh, a website called ClassicReload.com, where you can play a bunch of old games. Um, and we're playing King's Quest 3 on there right now. This is a classic adventure game from you know, 1986, and as such, it's uh, 16 colors, very low um, resolution pixel art. As you can see and you walk around with a keyboard like this and we play uh, a magician's apprentice um, called Gwydion not really an apprentice even he's more um, a slave really um, the story goes he was um, taken kidnapped at birth and uh, brought to the wizard to uh, raise as his own slave it's quite a dark story uh, for a fairy tale notice as you walk up the stairs you can't walk diagonally so you have to um, move up, left, up, left, up, right. So we've been tasked with cleaning his study. So we have to find his study. You walk around and you use the keyboard to um, offer commands. There's an evil cat. This is Manon's cat. So if we stop with the cat and go, look, cat, that detestable pet of Manon's is a constant annoyance. We'll try petting the cat. The thought of doing anything nice that obscene ball of fur makes you sick. All right. So we're going to ignore the cat. See, what we can do is we can go grab fur, get fur, get cat, uh, pick up cat. Too far. These old games before the mouse were quite um, challenging because you really had to um, be in the right place at the right time. Uh, the pixel perfect uh, movement required so you could fall down things quite easily just for being one pixel off. We're in Manon's room right now, so we can go in there and open a drawer. You can see yourself in the mirror, that's quite cool for the time. Open drawer, 
looking drawer. The vanity drawer, many uninteresting items. Although you see a hand mirror, you grab it. So that was a bit risky because we probably want to do these things while Manon's out. The story goes, yeah, you're a slave uh, guardian who um, basically works for Manon and you have to do a bunch of tasks for him in the middle and beginning of the game. A little bit like Harry Potter working for the Dursleys, you know, even though he's supposed to be you know, like a foster kid, they make him do all the chores. So we're going to go upstairs to Manon's study. Oh, it's an observatory. I don't actually don't remember where he studies. It's been so long. There's a fly there, so we'll go get the fly. You pick up the dead fly. Uh, the reason I'm trying to do these things is because later on you can actually um, use them to cast a spell. Their ingredients. Uh, look, telescope. What's a telescope? Uh, it's using what's called a text parser, and so you have to get it exactly right. Um, you put your eyes to the glass. It amazes you how near everything seems. You can see every, even see squirrels climbing far away. Um, cool. Oh, here's Manon. He's not happy because we haven't cleaned his um, study. You will create no magic around me, Gwadi, and the hateful wizard growls as he takes the offending ingredients from you. Oh, disappointing. He killed us. That's pretty dark. That is rather dark, so thanks for playing King's Quest 3. That's very sad. Let's restart. Alright. So he'll probably give us another task to do. You basically have to do a bunch of tasks for Manon until he uh, leaves. Um, he goes to visit his sister in another town, and then you can um, plot to escape. You've been neglecting my chickens again, Guardian. Feed them and quickly. All right, bastard wizard, evil. You get your revenge. Um, spoiler alert: you are actually the son of the king in um, this game, and you're in a faraway land called Luden. But, um, but the king in King's Quest One uh, is actually your father, King Graham. Um, open gate. And it turns out you, um, yeah, are his son. You're a prince. So get feed. Yeah, we want to feed the chickens. Feed chickens. Feed chickens. So it can be quite frustrating because you have to know the exact right command. I used to be pretty good at this game, but I've forgotten most of the commands. Look. Look. Feed. Use feed. Feed chickens. Can't reach it. Where is the feed? It's right there, right? Get chicken feed. <laughs> yeah, this is one of those kind of strange conundrums. Um, you have to kind of know what the developer is thinking at all times, you know what I mean? Um, and you don't often. This game, yeah, made by Sierra, who were one of the first sort of graphical adventure game companies. Um, they made King's Quest and Police Quest and Space Quest and Leisure Suit Larry, which was a game that um, was for adults. But I remember playing as a kid and wondering, what are all these things? You know, uh, like, what's a condom? You know, what's a hooker? What's a pimp? These were things in the game. <laughs> we didn't know. It went right over our heads. Uh, Space Quest was awesome as well. I love that game. Um, get food don't need it look feed um, feed the chickens can't reach it from here feed the chickens ah look tell you what we're gonna do I'm gonna show you um, there was 104 screens in this game. It was quite massive. I think the original King's Quest only had 32. So if we try to walk down here, this is the path you have to try and walk down. And if you slip... Oh! Madden has appeared again. 
Manon's eyes narrow to slits. Guidian, you were forbidden to be here. I have a good mind to... His face softens as he continues. Well, maybe next time. For now, go home. So he sends us home. Now we're back in the kitchen again. There's something quite charming up this, and this is... What do you want, man? He's persistent, isn't he? This is in an era before the internet. Um, so he's punishing us for not feeding chickens. What's he doing to us? So he's making us do some kind of exercises. This is really weird. But yeah, before the internet, if you got stuck, you just had to keep typing in things till something worked. Or ask your friends and so on. Um, but, you know, bizarre. They're doing some exercises. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to quit this one and um, move over to the remake from 2011 from AGD Interactive. And they did a bunch of King's Quest remakes. So if you're interested in the King's Quest series, they're the ones I recommend you play. I just load this one up for nostalgic reasons just to show you um, what the original was like. Um, so let's pause this and then we'll uh, fire up the remake. All right, so here we are with King's Quest 3, the AGD uh, remake um, in 2011. These guys, yeah, re remade all the um, classic games just for free. Uh, fan remakes, it's awesome. Uh, we're not, we're going to skip the in introduction. We go straight to the game because uh, we don't really need that. As you can see, the uh, graphics are a lot nicer. They're um, still sort of hand done. The old wizard looks at you menacingly. And you have um, chickens need to be fed. Uh, to voice artwork as well. I mean, voiceover, which is awesome. Evil wizard, right? So there's the, the man and his cat. You can right click to sort of cycle through. This is Mananan's detestable pet. Manana. So I always call him Mananan. You are not. So let's walk to the cat. The room is cold. You are not. You are not. Get pretty close. There we go. Grab Nimble, the cat. You grab the nasty cat by the scruff of its neck. <coughs> you manage to pluck some fur before he viciously scratches it. All right, so we've got some fur now, which is cool. Um, I bet Manon takes it off us though. So what did he ask us to do? I don't remember. Do you want to feed the chickens? It's a lot easier with a mouse to move around. Um, some lovely artwork, hand drawn, of course. You point and click where you want to go. There's the, the feed is... barrel. Feed the chickens. I'm hoping he asks us to feed the chickens. Okay, they're fed. Back inside we go. Manon will probably give us another task. If that's what he wanted, I can't remember because I wasn't paying attention. Look at that cat. That's like your hourglass that you sort of, you know, you're waiting. It's a picture. It's a painting of the wizard from long ago. You wonder if he was ever young. Really nice um, narration. I bet he didn't ask us to do that chicken feeding. Sweet. There. You have always admired this lovely tapestry. If you never played the first King's Quest, it's a classic. It's um about um, becoming the king. You have to get three magical treasures, and each one is sort of a task. Uh, that's sort of straight out of a fairy tale. There's characters like Rumpelstiltskin and trolls, and Billy Goat's Gruff and dragons. You look into the cracked so mirror hanging on the wall. Your reflection shows a tall, handsome lad dressed. These games you can pick up for free. It's quite cool. Uh, hide the items. Great. So we're going to hide that one. You drop to your hands and knees and hide the item. I forgot about that. So it means you can kind of go around gathering the ingredients you need uh, to cast a spell that will get you out of here. We're in Madden's room now. Do we risk? There is a small draw. What we'll do first, save the game. Um, Guardian is the name of our character. There is a small. 
Let's open the drawer, see if we can grab the hand mirror. You have ex your bra perhaps in a Where's the hand so mirror? far. Right. You have your bra so long. Perhaps right up right about your hmm. It's the wrong drawer, I guess. There is nothing. Oh, that's the hand mirror. Why could it be? You that take up? the whip. There we go. Oh, man, and then we're in his room. We're in trouble now. You know better than to go through my personal belongings. <laughs> oh no! What's he doing to us? I oh, disintegrated this again. Let's around. restore. Now you're nothing but dust on the ground. Um, even though they obviously look dated, there is something quite timeless about point-and-click adventure games like this, and um, it's cool to see they're still being made today from, you know, the guys who do the Monkey Island series and um, Tim Schafer and all those kind of guys. Oh, evil cat. Let's get that dead fly off the ground. The what do you want, gives you an... Bloody hell. Won't leave us alone, will he? Checking up on us all the time. Get the dead. You pick fly. up. See if we can use the, the well polish. You don't need to clean the window. Use the telescope. See if it has a nice view in this version. You put your eye to the glass. It. I think you can come back here later and use it to actually teleport yourself. I can't remember. It's been, as I said, about thirty years <laughs> since I have played this game. Hide this ingredient under our bed. And I guess then we maybe we need to actually clean something else. Or we wait for his next instruction. You get on your hands and Okay, hide everything. Out we go. Alright, what the do you wizard's want, glare makes you suddenly feel very, very small. I have decided to take a Okay, journey. great. He's leaving the house. Awesome. So, which means now you this basically... This door leads to the wizard's bedroom. You have a the limited door. amount of time to basically uh, steal as much stuff as you can. And... You take... Get out of the house, basically. And I've kind of forgotten how to do it. Anything in there? You don't look... You don't look. You search the pockets of the black key. All right, good. That do you refill anything in that drawer? You've only been fed. You don't like. You There's don't book. You don't. You don't have a. You've never want. Okay, we got a potion. You cannot use. Ah, the wizard. The one. Ah. All right, so let's. Days in. There's a chamber pot there. It's the wizard's chamber pot. You'd For those who don't know what a chamber pot is, it, uh, it's used in sort of medieval times to um, yeah, to do a, do your business in. You throw it out the window. There you go. Trivia. So what we're going to do is going to go down. Oh, we get our ingredients. And go back up there. You don't have that much time from memory before the wizard comes back. Get our stuff. Retrieve everything. Dropping to your hand. Okay, what can Often do? you have wished you could crawl into a hole and disappear. Often you have. Right, save the game. Continue along our way. So here's a bit of trivia for you. Not really trivia, but um, I had King's Quest and King's Quest Two and King's Quest Three. Um, but I had a really old computer, and my version of King's Quest 2, you couldn't save the game. So you could play it, but you had to play the whole game um, in one in one session. So if you died, that was it. Was basically permitted. The perfect servant. Aren't so if anything went wrong, and this was using those old graphics that we saw early in the video, and it was you know you needed picture perfect accuracy. There are very, there are very um, pour the bottles in a bowl. Mananin. Mananin help. Yeah, and Mananin. so I, trying to remove 
was never able to finish it because I got to one point in the game that was so tough. You had to get through this thorny poison forest and the slightest stuff up and you'd be ruined. You take the get the food. You can it was so sad. I went back and finished it eventually with the, uh, the remix, like uh, these ones. It's a bucket, Charlie. There's Charlie Bucket. That's a reference to um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I get it. Get a knife there. You take the carving knife. Great. You what else can we get? You were mixed. The oh, mixing bowl. We want the mixing bowl. You we need this to um, for our all ingredients. Mini, ch mini chore. Oh no, sweeping. We don't have time to sweep. Come on, stop. Guardian, stop! Stop cleaning! The wizard's gone. We need to get down into his um, lair. Into his study. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm sure there's some other ingredient I'm missing, but we've got the cat fur, we've got the fly wings, and we've got the bowl and a few other things. Now, watch this. This is Mananan's. I wonder, actually, you know what? From memory, I think there's something else we got to get. I think we get a chicken feather. So we're gonna pick up a chicken. The hen. When close, you are not. You. Okay, walk to the hens. You get chicken feather because we're gonna use it in our spell. You are not. How do we get there? Sometimes the pathfinding can be a little bit off. Like he's going up there, but I actually didn't want him to. I sworn there was a chicken feather to pick up. Where would you? You are not. Where? Where? Okay, let's just hope that we don't need it. You know, there is something just. The Beautiful about you know this is obviously not the best art you've ever seen but there's something just feet really appealing about playing these games and you can just get lost in the stories and the puzzles and so on evil cat so the massive can we get anything from the desk drawer you open the desk nothing anything in the cupboard I bet Manon's coming back soon you try to turn the I've got a key though so let's uh. Use our brass key. You unlock the. There we go. Oh, what's that? A one. Inside. You take it with you, knowing it could mean death if he finds. Well, yeah. We don't plan on being Every... around when he comes back. So there is a book here. So many. So many. There we go. One of these books is actually a. Um... You scan the bookshelf for interesting titles and find a book. <laughs> we want to actually. Um... Turn. You scan the. One of them is an actual uh, ha um, lever s s to a door, but which one? So many books. You scan. Which one? We're running out of time. Scan. You scan. You scan. You scan. So hard to know. You scan. Oh come on! I'm worried now. You scan. You scan. You scan. Oh, come on. You scan. You scan. One of these has got to be the one. You scan. You scan. So even in the remake, scan. there can be frustrating things, you know. Like you this. scan the bookshelf for interesting. I'm actually panicking that Manon will come back soon. You scan. Which one is the the handle? You scan. You scan the bookshelf for. Ah, uh, here we go. There we go. Ah, oh, this wasn't in the original. You could just use the handle to... So, there must be something that we're not doing. There are five... Oh, well, look. I don't think we're going to solve that puzzle today, but anyway. Yeah, 
that's King's Quest 3. Um, the full title was King's Quest 3 to Air is Human. They always had little puns. The first one was King's Quest, um, rom uh, the quest for the crown. I think the second one was Romancing the Throne. Um, the Perils of Rosella was the fourth one. And then they went all the way up to eight, which was not a point and click game, but an actual horrible 3D mess uh, where you walked around and had you know, actual fighting and stuff. I believe there was a, a bunch of remakes um, done for PlayStation 4, but um, they didn't really feel like King's Quest games to me, even though some people liked them. But check them out if you can. Anyway, that is my um, uh, playthrough of King's Quest 3. And you know, if you haven't heard of the series before, uh, it is a timeless classic um, and well worth your time if you like point and click adventures. All right, everybody, thank you for being with me on another Games Gladiator episode. I will see you again real soon, and uh, bye for now.